What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be doing some holiday knife shopping across five different retailers. DLT Trading, GP Knives, River's Edge Cutlery, uh, Urban EDC Supply, and Blade HQ. We're going to check out what they've got going on for the holidays, what they've got in stock. Well, this might be fun, right? We're all doing this anyway. <laughs> I might as well record myself doing it, right? And I can do your holiday shopping for you. How oh, wow, how nice of me, how nice of you, Metal Complex, with the affiliate links that benefit the channel, right? Yes, that is absolutely the case. If you use my links right down below to check out any of this stuff, it definitely supports my channel and I would appreciate it, but that's entirely up to you. You might also be asking yourself, why would I watch you do this for, I'm gonna guess, 30 to 45 minutes when I can just go do this myself? You're right. As per usual, I will link all of this stuff, each uh, retailer's pages, their holiday pages or their new arrivals pages, right down in the description so that you can go do that uh, for yourself. But for those of you who wanna stick around and do this with me, check out this stuff, hear my commentary, uh, kick back, relax, grab a snack, grab a drink, because we're gonna be here for a bit. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Ah, uh, man, my voice. I'm making this sacrifice for you because this is going to destroy my voice over the next 30 minutes. So we have, it says DLT's 12 days of Christmas. I just noticed this and that's, I don't know what this is. I, I've, I've not clicked on it yet, but I was like, maybe it's something really cool. So I'm going to click on this and make this the first part of my video. Uh, okay, 12 days of Christmas, day one, RMJ Tactical, Eagle Talon, Urban Camo, G10. Um, and day two. So these day one and day two are available. I'm recording this on a Thursday. By the time you guys watch it, there's been an extra day. So there might be new stuff in here. The next one is a Medford knife and tool limited holiday themed, or they have some limited holiday themed. I, I'm curious, the holiday themed Medfords. Um, oh, okay. It's just the RMJ tech. Looks like the, that holiday themed Medford is, uh, gone. Uh, unless does this take us to it? No, nope, it's just that one. So somebody, <laughs> sorry, I have a monster. Have you guys tried the monster ultra Rosa, the sugar-free, the pink can? Gosh, those are good. Um, anyways, it looks like somebody snagged the holiday Medford, at least that one there. So maybe there's going to be more. And then obviously they'll have another item or multiple items like every day counting down, you know, for 12 days. So there you go. Holiday hub. Let's take a look here real quick. Okay, 20% off all Hogue knives, which is kind of, that's actually pretty cool. Um, Hogue makes some good stuff. So you're going to get 20% off uh, stuff like the Exploit and the EX series knives. The micro incursion is pretty cool. It's kind of pricey, but if you're going to get 20% off, then there you go. Um, also, uh, the DECA, I mean, yeah. Now, this is the DECA Gen 1, but still like, you know, you're going to get 20% off and this is USA made CPM 20 CV and G10. They get a bunch of them here. So, I mean, yeah, you know, take advantage of that. The difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2, the deck, I have a Gen 2 deck here, less screws and it's got a different pocket clip. I can't remember what the pocket clip on the Gen 1 looks like. Should we take a look here real quick? I think we should, right? It's not like I'm going for like a, you know, sitting a speed run. <laughs> we don't get things done too quickly here. Go to the next picture. Okay, so instead of this one, it, <coughs> instead of carrying reasonably deep, the new one carries very deep and is a bit shorter, right? That might be a preference thing. Be nice to have, you know, less screws, but there you go. So anyways, okay, 20% off of Hogue uh, items and then spend 125 plus on buck knives and get a free gift with uh, your purchase. So I don't know what that gift is, but there you go. If you were gonna buy buck knives anyway, um, you can get a free gift from DLT Trading. DLT has a good point system, which you can't see because I've got the screen cut off right there, but I use their point system all the time. That's part of the reason. Their exclusives, that's the main reason that I utilize them. Their exclusives are like amazing. Um, uh, the stuff that they've done in the past, like the no choil hinderers, right? Not, oh, <laughs> great. Yeah. The non flip. I'm reminded again that the non flipper XM 18s here recently, I was unable to get, they have a whole bunch of Praetorian T's and S 90 V right now. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys knew that these, oh my gosh, there's a ton. Of, I had no idea. There's a ton of them here right now. 
Um, yeah, they're pricey, but you know, for those of you who are looking for a Praetorian tea, well, there you go. Uh, there is a crap load of them uh, here right now. But anyways, DLT Trading has an awesome exclusives program and they also have um, an excellent point program. I am constantly buying things from DLT, so being able to get a dollar off for eight, every 80 points um, is pretty cool. And I think you get, it's like you get a point for every dollar you spend. So it ends up being a pretty reasonable, right? If you buy a lot of knives, um, then being able to get, you know, you'll usually end up spending them. <laughs> you'll accumulate enough to get anywhere from a five to a 20% discount before you just can't stand anymore and you have to use them. That's generally how I am. Um, but, uh, yeah. Wow. There's so many, <laughs> I didn't know how many Praetorian teas. There's so many. Oh my gosh. I, I have never seen so. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Oh, that is sick. Oh, man. Uh, do I need a Praetorian right now? Those have the new lock bars. Uh, this is textured titanium. That's why I'm kind of going nuts for it. Oh, man. Glad these are in S90V. That's what that nine means, right? For people going, not for D2. First off, it's not ingot D2. So you're wrong for saying that, CPM D2. Second off, these are DLT exclusives, so they're S90V. That's probably the coolest Praetorian tea that I have ever seen. And I can almost guarantee somebody will end up buying that and smashing my dreams. There are so many. Oh my gosh. Well, these are only seven, I say only 700. These are 725 if you want a plain Jane one. This looks exactly like the one I used to have. And I think I paid 700 bucks for it. So I, it doesn't look like they've changed um, the basic ones. If you want something with a little more zazz, a little more zing to it, right? <clears throat> there you go. A whole bunch of <laughs> all those titanium skills for uh, hinders are gone. Oh, we still have the tan. Uh, this is still here. Yeah, grab this while you can, guys. I thought this was long gone. Tan G10 and C... There you go. I'm already signed up. Thank you, DLT. <laughs> Tan G10, black 20 CV blade. Uh, Yojimbo 2. That's an exclusive there. 172. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was still there. So if you missed out on that or you didn't know it existed, there you go. It's still there. It exists. Black Andela and Satin Andela and 20 CV. Those are probably the two best deals on 20 CV that has absolutely been heat treated properly. That's available right now. Um, so there you go. Lesser known, the Mortal Kombat themed Manticore X uh, is available. Um, that's gold, fat, carbon. This is more of a semi-custom, which is why it's so expensive, right? And then there's some more stuff. The Spyderco Tough is also still available at DLT. Uh, I thought for sure those sold out. Anyways, those are crew wear. The new Spyderco Tough. That's a titanium frame lock and crew is it hang on pretty sure yeah and also it doesn't look like it but there's actually a steel lock bar you can see it in there there's a steel lock bar insert in there um but this is a crew wear um and titanium frame lock spider co and it is a big boy this is a thick like if medford and spider co made a knife together it'd be the tough and i absolutely believe in the truest sense of the word, that they use the correct word um, for that uh, for that knife. Okay, uh, got to put some more potatoes in the oven for the internet today. Um, new arrivals, should we do that real quick before we move on? I told you this was going to be a long video. We'll take a quick look here. I, I just looked at this page just a little bit ago. The initial new arrivals I wasn't super interested in. But some more Microtex. Oh, yeah. RGT Demco. If you have an AD 20.5 and you're like, I love it, but oh, my God, I hate these scales. Well, you can pick up some U.S.-made RGT or uh, Rips Garage Tech tail scales uh, for 70 bucks in Micarta and more Micarta, canvas, linen, all of that stuff, denim, right? Uh, they also made Capara scales. That's kind of cool. I have some of these, some skinny scales made by RGT on my Para 3, and they are excellent. I think that might be all that I really care about on this first page here. And honestly, I can't remember there being anything fantastic on this next page. I check this, I check the first two pages of DLT literally every day, sometimes twice a day. And I know a lot of you guys do too. And you're only here because you want to hear me talk 
which is very nice. <laughs> Let's move on to GP knives. Um, they don't have a holiday panel. A lot of these retailers are gonna have the same stuff, right? But uh, we're gonna check it anyway. Okay, zero tolerance 0350 with tiger stripe, black cherry mill, this or that. Okay, neat. Um, tritium, what? An 0350 with a tritium slot uh, and some tritium on the scales. Okay, that's kind of neat. Um, the only thing that sucks about this knife, and it doesn't suck, it's fine. It's it's assisted, right? The 0350 is a classic. QSB Penguin, titanium, everybody likes those, right? Green, kind of cool, green and black. It's more of a cyan or whatever you call that. I like the jade stuff. This is a jade and D2, jade and satin, 30 bucks. The QSP Penguin is, if you didn't know, the all-time greatest budget knife. But wait, you can get the Parrot in D2 for even less, 26 bucks. I have one of these here. Um, for those of you who like the idea of the Penguin, but you don't like the idea of a Warncliffe blade, the um, the Parrot is basically the same size. It's just got a drop point. And uh, spoiler alert, it's excellent. For 26 bucks, my God. QSP is absolutely king of, like, it, it has the, they don't make as many knives as Civivi. So if you need variety, then Civivi is the way to go. But, I mean, you can't beat the freaking penguin and the parrot, right? They got a thing with birds. Large Sabenza 31, uh, S45VN, gold double lugs with natural canvas micarta. I'm sure somebody will pick that up. Here's the Digi Camo PM2 in S45VN. Most of the new PM2s dropping at retailers right now are in S45VN. So if you've been chasing black and satin, all black, or camo with black, or camo with satin, it's they're probably all S45VN. So you can check those out if you want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, small Sabenzas. Oh, the new Cogent. Um, that's a super awesome knife. Yeah, it's. A, I know people are like, it's a $69 Civivi. Nah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit high, but it's a button lock and it's 14C28N. So at least you're getting some good stuff there, right? Get yourself one in Damascus. I don't know. That's kind of high. Don't do that. Go with the go with 14C28 in. It's going to be better. Unless you just love Damascus. I don't know what to think about the Arsenal. I'm sure I'll take a look at it at some point. The Snick's cool. It just has a Civivi clip. Wow, if you want to pay $637 for... It is Timascus and Damasteel, though. Um, so, okay. Ultratech. Bronze Apocalyptic. Double Edge. That's a sweet Ultratech. Nephilim. Still trying to get one of those to take a look at because it looks cool. And Nephilim makes me think of Diablo. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. We have some Hinder Emmet Bowies still floating around at GP Knives. Look at that. Uh, some black micarta. Uh, do we need to, do we need more potatoes? Okay, nope, we're good. Uh, yeah, that's killer. I used to own one of these. This is a really nice fixed blade. Nice size too at eight and a half inches with a 3.85 inch cutting edge. CPM 20 CV contoured. It's basically like a large, fixed XM18 three and a half inch Bowie with contoured scales is essentially what it feels like. Do we need to go to the fourth page? I'm trying to keep each of these relatively short, but you know, sometimes GP knives have, that's the reason you want to check multiple retailers. These guys don't all carry the same stuff. Those are kind of, oh, that's the Benchmade pen. That's right. For some reason on GP knives site, you have to call for Benchmade pricing. I do not know why. Oh, they have some um, Invictus Autos. That's why. That's why you got to check. If you've been hunting an Invictus Auto, this is uh, one of Protec's best automatic knives ever. Um, the Invictus Automatic. That one's all black. That is sick. <sighs> See, I'm, I torture myself with this too. I didn't know they had this. Very cool. That's a uh, G10 inlay on the button. Uh, based on the Prometheus Design Works Invictus, the original Invictus, but it's an automatic. Uh, that is very, very cool. So there you go. Three hundred bucks is a lot of money, but that's one of the that's one of the best Protex ever. Ah, no, no, thank you on this stuff. We'll go one more page, then we'll move on. Um, more Microtex. I think I, they put something about red handle. They have a whole bunch of red handle Microtex. There's the crit. 
we go back to the front, they they had something about yeah, red handle uh, Microtex. They have several models in stock. So I mean, if you you know if you're looking for a Microtech OTF and you're really big into red, apparently GP Knives has a but a bunch of. I got excited for a second. I was like, what? They have a Sith Lord LUDT? No way. But no, uh, they do have these though. So Ultratex, it looks like. Okay, let's move on to River's Edge Cutlery. Um, thank you. Already subscribed to your newsletter as well. What do we have here? Finch Drifter. I've not had a, hand, a chance to handle those. Protex. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you have been... Um, I noticed this the other day and made a post about it. If you have ever been interested in the Something Obscene Co. Um, and uh, uh, Arcane Design Antimatter, which is a true double-edged folding dagger... Flipper dagger. Um, they have these. 360 bucks um, at River's Edge Cutlery. These are blacked out, which I think a lot of people will really like. This is a cool knife. You can check out my review. You can see on the back there, there's the frame lock, right? Uh, this is a, a super cool knife. These are M390 in titanium and made unbelievably well. A bit angular in spots, but there are not a lot of good folding dagger designs out there. I'll tell you what they are right now. This, the Hinderer Maximus, which good luck, you're not going to find that. And then also the um, Sharp by Design Arch Nemesis, which, I, <laughs> number one, uh, you you almost can't buy it. And number two, even if you can, it's going to be a bare minimum of $1,500. So uh, there's some other uh, super crappy junky crap out there if you want to go that route. But if you want a nice, high quality truly symmetrical folding dagger that's sharp on both sides, and of course it is legal in your area, uh, you can buy the uh, wonderful Something Obscene and Arcane Design uh, Antimatter at River's Edge Cutlery. I'm really glad that I, I had totally forgotten about that. So I'm glad that they uh, posted that. Let's go um, to their new arrivals. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of the same stuff, but still, you know, worth going through and checking. Some kitchen knives, not really my it's not really my thing. I have a tour uh, fixed blade, and I'm pretty impressed with it. This one right here, the Field 2.0. I really like this knife. Um, I did have to adjust my scale, the liner underneath. I had to unscrew. Let me. <laughs> on, on one of the screws, I had. To, I'm sorry. I unscrewed both the screws, and then I moved the scale over just a little bit so it was flush with the copper liner. After that, it was fine. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Nice knife. Uh, Giant Mouse Nimbus V2 and Ace Clyde. We also have some custom clips for like the PM2 or uh, some Chris Reeve knives. Bug out my Carta scales. Uh, Benchmade titanium scales. RGT stuff. Uh, some beads. I'm not really into beads. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Cold Steel 8010. Oh, no, those are out of stock. What the heck? It's the Civivi Mini Elementum, but it's a, um, what? It's a frame lock? Brass. Well, the front scale must be brass, and then the back side is certainly steel. We did not need a steel frame lock version of this, but there it is, and it's $42. I did not know that was uh, available yet, but okay, that's why we check other retailers because they don't always have the same stuff. What is this? Boker Catalyst? Eh. Eh. Leviathan? I haven't seen that for a while. F3. D -d -d -d. Let's move on to page four real quick to see if there's anything else before we move on to another retailer. Always been curious about these Ridge wallets. <clears throat> they look kind of cool. Oh, yeah. You can pre-order the Something Obscene Company J-Cape. Um, this one's out of stock, but if you want one in burlap micarta, uh, these are definitely in high demand, then um, there you go. There are pre-orders available for these. Very cool. River's Edge Cutlery, uh, another awesome retailer for cool exclusives and fun little gems that you can only find if you check all the time, like me. Moving on here to Urban EDC Supply. Um, where's their little... Oh, is it... Oops, <laughs> we went back all the way to Google. Hang on, bear with me, everybody. Yeah, there it is, the $1,000 holiday giveaway, um, which is going to come off screen right now. Um, but you can check that out. Uh, you're gonna get more information on that later this afternoon. Um, let's go to Shop All. 
and see what we've got available. These are super weird. JHO knives number 20. This is part of the, I've said this many times. This is why I uh, do an affiliate program with Urban EDC Supply because they have some of the weirdest stuff and it's all, it's all good quality. Like it's all, it's all real. It's all high quality stuff. It's just freaking bizarre. Some of it, it's just bizarre, you know? <laughs> this is a folding titanium scalpel. Expensive, right? But titanium and M390. Uh, and, you know, you can see here. Oh, is it textured? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I have no, um, no part of my life requires something like this. Is it a front flip or two? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay. But it's a it's a frame lock. It's a titanium frame lock. Let's look at the other side. No. I want this. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, you know, blade to handle ratio or cutting edge to handle where people are gonna like people who are big on ratios are gonna be like, ah my brain. Um, but yeah, you I mean, it looks kind of cool. If you don't care about that, then there you go. I wonder what the overall size of it is. Oh, it's in freaking <laughs> <laughs> millimeter. Uh, oh, there you go. That's the, the blade length and everything like that. M390, titanium, and all that. I'm sure that it is not made in the United States. Options, both nude and matte gray are available right now. So there you go. Uh, make sure, again, if you find something you like, use my, use my link in the description first. It supports the channel. But in any case, it's here, however you get there. Those are um, pretty cool. Those are really expensive. Time, some, but those are all Timascus too. If you want a Timascus EDC pry bar, there you go. Oh, the Mokum, Mokume ones are cool. Uh, the Shrike was cool. This is, this is neat. Uh, the Pioneer with custom titanium scales. Very expensive, but very cool. Uh, Onyx in uh, Vic Sornox Swiss Army in Onyx Black. Also cool. Nice pens there, DB Blades X MIG Bolt Action Pen. Um, pretty cool. We have some Swiss Army Classics with the Precious Alox for 50 bucks. That's cool. That'll make those feel a lot better uh, than the, the crappy, well, I say crappy. I, I don't like the original material they come in. Combat Beads MK2 Bit Drivers. You can pre-order uh, Baby Barlow's. Some EDC tools. These drivers are also really cool. The titanium ones. Chris Reeve knives. Left-handed Sabenzas. If you're left-handed, there you go. Trevor Berger Atlas. With the uh, those are custom. Uh, so there you go. The Coppet is still there. Some more pens. Whole bunches. Of, so so many different things. Uh, tactile turn bolts. Um, those are those are there. The Slims from 99 bucks. Uh, was not a big fan of the Riverstone. Some interesting uh, challenge coins, a whole bunch of stuff. If you've never shopped at Urban EDC Supply, again, this is why I say yes to them. Because they have cool stuff. It's, it's not stuff that we need. But then again, like if you're watching this video, you already buy stuff that you don't need. So don't. Let, I'm not going to listen to it. Very cool. And then moving on here to uh, Blade HQ, for some reason I have their DECA page loaded up. Let's go. I'm sure that they have a holiday sale. <coughs> I did them last because everybody knows, right? Knife Bucks. Gift Guide. Okay. All right, Blade HQ, let's see. What's, your, what's going on here? Tell us how to spend our knife money. Civivi Super Sale and We Super Sale. Um, that, that makes sense. You you know, there you go. Uh, Cold Steel Recon 1. Boker Quaken. CRKT Pilar. Brown. 38% off. Is it really? Okay. Shop Holiday Sale Exclusives and Gifts Under 100. Okay. I see. Let's, let's check out the Holiday Sale. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. You can get the penguin for twenty five bucks. Save your save yourself six bucks there. Elementum. Uh, some of those elementums are a little bit less. Uh, Mini Warhawk Kalashnikov, Harpoon Kalashnikov. We've got 
The 20 CV banter at 108 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Some of these things are not actually on sale. Like the Pentagon made it in here. It's not on sale. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, they've got a holiday tab. Let's see what they've got for new arrivals. I just, so they're giving, this is a bonus bucks program. Okay. Ah, the James brand Folsom. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Okay. Um, again, I don't like to reduce things to um, materials alone, but James Brand needs to take a note from other knives that have been thoroughly talked about using particular materials that are manufactured in a certain way. Again, remember, we know, we know where these are being manufactured, right? We know how they're being manufactured. We know what classification of knife this is, right? Massive... Massive quantity, production knife. Looks like we're using G10 and CTSBD1, okay? That combined with the classification of knife, what it is, right? They're not reinventing the wheel with construction here. $99 is too much money. James Brand, cool it with your pricing. Come on, calibrate, guys. Not even going to look at the, the Carter X. You know what? I'm going to. The Carter XL. Oh, shocker. It's still VG10 for $160. No. No. Uh-uh. Change it up. Spyderco Sage 5 Lightweight in Mint. FRN, right? People are like, ooh, talk about overpriced. Hang on a second. This is using CPM M4. And it is made uh, in... Wait. Uh, before I say that. Show all specs. Taiwan, which is going to be a, let's, hold on, before I contradict myself, <laughs> watch me do this <laughs> live, uh, yeah, China, <clears throat> no, this costs way less to make, way less to make, just no contest, right, but that's plastic, Taiwan manufacturing, couple that with M4 steel, M4 steel doesn't cost an incredible amount more than VG10, but it definitely is more expensive to purchase and turn into a knife blade than VG10, right? But the Carter has this cool axis switchy lock thing and looks really stylish. Okay, then buy that if that's what you want. But Sage 5 Lightweight, much better way to go. Ah, speaking of things that are a bit overpriced, I have this. Um, Sandrine Knives, if you're watching, uh, the tungsten carbide blade is absolutely a performer. I don't think I needed to go out and break down boxes for two hours to prove that, but I did. Uh, I say two hours. It was probably an hour and 15 minutes. My hand got tired. That blade didn't. That blade is still razor sharp. It'll, it'll do it, guys. It'll cut. They put carbon fiber on this $200 knife that was overpriced and now are charging us $300 for it. Sandrine Knives, I appreciate you guys sending in the sample, but this is too much money for this. That finish needs to change. The knife itself does not feel like a $300 knife, not even close. So I don't know. For some people, this, they're going to look at this and go, you know what? It's worth it to me. A knife that you almost never have to sharpen. Um, seriously, tungsten carbide. Pick your favorite super steel, right? Your favorite super steel. Start to tell me exactly how great the edge retention is and then throw it out the window because it's not tungsten carbide. Uh, tungsten carbide is, that's, that's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, right? Um, the brazen. One of these Civivis has tweezers in it and I unboxed it the other day and apparently didn't catch that. And you guys all were like, he doesn't know it has tweezers. Tweezers. I should go and check. Sog Terminus, some butterfly knives. I'm not seeing anything yet that I really want to talk about here. Is that a titanium squid? Oh, wait, is this the actual Burnley squid? Hang on a second. It's made in Italy. This is the... Who's making this? So this is an Italian titanium squid. Hmm. Bowler M390, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, it's running on washers. Okay. Well, if you just love the squid 
If you love it so much, you need a titanium. I mean, I understand the, Lucas Burnley made the original, right? So maybe that, like I'm saying that in a jokey, like mocky way, but obviously there are plenty of people who liked it. It's one of Blade HQ's, the, the, the CRKT squid is one of the best sellers on this website, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, still looking. Still looking for something I really want to talk about here. Oh, the Chavez Chubs are still there if you want a $200 um, uh, utility knife, which sounds like a joke, but yeah, I mean, like those of you laughing, these will sell out. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of right there with you. It's funny, but they'll sell, right? No no amount of mockery will stop those from, <laughs> not those from sell, uh, stop those from selling. They will sell out. Um, let's see here. And also, Ramon Chavez is, a great person and his knives are awesome. I own the 229 and I've owned a 228 back when the, the American 228 existed. Um, and I almost bought a liberation. So, um, why is the, why? Okay. Listen, I, I got to stop at this. Okay. So this is a signature series, Ultratech Delta dual edge frag shadow. Uh, immediately to my left is a Microtech Scarab 2, which is a huge honking monster uh, OTF from, uh, from Microtech. It is also a signature series and is also a shadow variant. So what that means is, is that my Scarab uh, is exactly the same as this, but it's much bigger and definitely costs more to make, not just because it's bigger, but just all of the intricate little parts and things, right? Uh, on, on just the, the, the inside of the scarab is, if I'm not mistaken, quite a bit, there's, there's more to it than, than the um, Ultratech, right? Anyways, that knife I paid 650 bucks for, which is way too much money for that knife. What on earth is making this thing cost $725? Because it's got a frag texture on it? Microtech, this is the most overpriced thing I've ever seen. I love Microtech knives. I love them, right? I'll, listen, I will take an overpriced Microtech over that fake US junk that people keep insisting. You got to check this out. It's so good and it's such a great deal and it's made in the USA. It's not. It isn't. I know. I Listen, I'm not going to say the companies, but you guys know who they are. No. I'll take an overpriced Microtech over one of those any day. But... This is still too much money. It's still, it's way too much money. Automatic, red horse, diamond. these are cool. Firing power is a little bit underwhelming, um, but it's cool. Okay, we're back to this, the boost smoke too, which I've already seen. All right, you know what? That wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I'm hoping you guys were at least mildly entertained by this. Um, I thought about doing like a best gifts for the holiday, you know, like that. I think it's more fun to just like casually talk about this stuff and then as things jump out at me to kind of be like oh neat it's available right now right so maybe you guys found something you thought was interesting either for yourself or somebody else probably for yourself because let's be honest we all buy ourselves knives for christmas that's come on that's what you're doing here <laughs> oh get it for my dad it's not, you're, you're not getting it for your dad <laughs> you're getting it for you <laughs> You give your dad one of your old knives. <laughs> That's what you'll do. <laughs> Anyways, check out these retailers. If you're not familiar with DLT Trading, GP Knives, River's Edge Cutlery, uh, Urban EDC Supply, or Blade HQ, uh, familiarize yourself. Make these guys a part of your rotation when you're looking for knives. Um, check them often uh, because they have cool stuff, definitely. Uh, if you found something you like, make sure you use my links down in the description. Seriously, it does help my channel when you do that, so I would appreciate it. But that is your choice. Um, make sure you're subscribed. We have something cool coming up this afternoon. Uh, for those of you who are still here, I'm sure there's like three people still like, yay. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you're subscribed uh, so you know what's going, what's going on. Um, that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that middle complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great, a great day.